And under this broad bucket of cardiovascular disease, heart attacks, heart failure, cardiac arrests, they're oftentimes lumped into one and assumed to be one and the same. You know, for the benefit of our viewers, while none of it is, of course, good news, what differentiates one condition from another? I think uh, they, these are uh, a lot of technical uh, aspects to this, but it probably doesn't matter in the large scheme of things. From a patient perspective, from a layman's perspective, right. uh, it probably doesn't matter. But uh, let me spell it out. Please. What, uh, as specialists, we consider uh, each to be. For example, uh, heart attack means blockage of blood vessels supplying the heart. Mm -hmm. Dot. That's it. That's what heart attack means to us. Mm -hmm. Or in medical terms, it's called myocardial infarction. Mm -hmm. That's what heart attack means. Mm -hmm. Cardiac arrest, as a specialist, means the heart has stopped. I see. And for the heart to stop, usually the pump will stop only when the electrical system fails. So right. the whole studio will become dark. Uh, only if all the electrical system fails. That's exactly the same what happens with the heart. The heart has its own electrical system right. and if the electrical system fails, mm -hmm. the heart stops contracting. Mm -hmm. And that's what a cardiac arrest means. So mm -hmm. cardiac arrest is not compatible with life. Mm -hmm. So usually they have only three, four minutes and if the heart is not revived, uh, they will not survive. That's what cardiac arrest means. But a heart attack, which is blockage of a blood vessel, mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily lead to a cardiac arrest. Yeah but a blockage of a blood vessel can lead to a cardiac arrest. Right. So a cardiac arrest is caused by a heart attack, mm -hmm. not vice versa. No, that's around. helpful. So th this is uh, what uh, uh, we would uh, take on if somebody says cardiac arrest heart attack. On the other hand, heart failure mm -hmm. means the pump function is lost. I see. So it is not uh, something to do with blood vessels specifically or electric system. Although all these systems can lead to heart failure, sure. the overall pump efficacy, if right. that is lost, right. then it's called heart failure. And what all causes heart failure? If the plumbing goes faulty, mm -hmm. your heart will fail. Yep. If your electrical system goes faulty, your heart will fail. If your valves go faulty, your heart will fail. Or if the heart muscle uh, gets damaged, it causes for heart failure. But broadly speaking, heart failure is pump efficacy being lost, cardiac arrest is the heart stopping and is not compatible with life, heart attack is blockage of blood vessel mm -hmm. 